to this video. In the previous video, we learned to find the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. Today, we will see some interesting examples based on this. The first, second and third rows of a cinema hall have 16, 20 and 24 chairs respectively. If the number of chairs keep increasing in this order, how many chairs will be there in the cinema hall having 16 rows? Can you tell me what we need to do first in order to solve this question? Absolutely correct. First of all, we have to make the list based on the data provided in the question. According to the question, there are 16 chairs in the first row, 20 chairs in the second row and 24 chairs in the third row. What can you say about this list? The first term in this series is 16. The second term is 20 and the third term is 24. Here, the difference of two consecutive terms is the same, that is 4, which is a common difference D of this series. Hence, this progression is an arithmetic progression. Well done! Can you tell the number of terms this arithmetic progression will have? As we know, the cinema hall has 16 rows. The number of terms n in this arithmetic progression will be 16. Now what do we have to do to find the total number of chairs in the cinema hall? To know the total number of chairs, we need to find the sum of 16 terms of the arithmetic progression. And how can we do this? We saw in the last video about how we can find the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic progression with the help of two formulas. Can you tell which formula we should use here? Because we know the number of terms and the common difference, we will use this formula here. If we knew the nth term of an arithmetic progression, then we could use the second formula. Moving further, we substitute the values of a, n and d in this formula. On solving this, we get 736. Therefore, the cinema hall will have a total of 736 chairs. Let's look at another example. Find the number of terms of an arithmetic progression whose first term is 21 and the last term is 994 and the sum of terms is 71,050. As per the question, the first term of the arithmetic progression is A. The last term is AN and the sum of all the terms of the arithmetic progression is S. With the help of which, we have to find the total number of terms n of the arithmetic progression. Can you tell what we need to do for this? Yes, here we have to use the formula for the sum of the first n terms of the arithmetic progression. By substituting the values of a, a n and s in the formula, we get n equals to 140. Therefore, there will be a total of 140 terms in the arithmetic progression. Today, in this video, we have looked at some interesting examples based on the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic progression. In the next video, we will see some simple mistakes that can occur while solving these types of questions.